So how you feel about prenuptial agreements in marriage? Do we really got to go there? Yes, that's part of marriage. I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. The realization that I just don't want to work in. You're really not going to sign a prenup. No, I'm not signing no prenup. What you got? You really have to be aware of the kind of woman that you allow to be in your life. When, when we got married, I was the girl that was like, I'm not signing a prenup. Let me tell you what my husband says. He says that if a man asks you to sign a prenup, run. I didn't date you for your money. I fell in love with your heart. Well, then just... Women only marry for stability and security not because they're in love with you. Kindly subscribe to the channel as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. Let me tell you what my husband says. He says that if a man asks you to sign a prenup, run. Because he's not a provider, like he's already keeping something from you and he's already in that mindset of like trying to protect himself and like he's already saying this is mine, this is yours. So that's what my husband thinks about it. I've never personally like been in that situation where I've had to give even any thought to that. Sorry to break it to you, madam, but your husband is wrong if he even said that in the first place. If a man wants a prenup, he isn't hiding anything. He's just being smart by protecting his assets. I keep hearing about this, so let me ask you guys. If you wanted your potential spouse to sign a prenup and they decided against it, would you still get married? I'm not going to get married. So, fellas, if you wanted her to sign a prenup and she said no, would you call off the wedding? Ladies, if the man said that he ain't signing no prenup, would you continue or would you call it off? Would you be brave enough to say, mm-mm, invitation sent, date ready, ready to go. They changed it and said, mm-mm, I decided against it. What would you do? If your partner decided against the prenup, there's really only one thing left for you to do, and that's moving on. I mean, what else is supposed to happen? Imagine you spend five years with a person and got to the marriage stage, but because they love you so much, they just won't sign a prenup. That relationship would be no more. And finally, women only abandon and leave men that they used, not men that they loved. That is true. I've seen a lot of differing opinions on here about prenups. The argument for being why not? It's just insurance. And if the marriage is real, you simply don't use it. And the argument against being, why are you going to set your marriage off on the wrong foot like that? Because it kind of sets a tone and an assumption that things are going to go wrong. And if they're not, then you don't need it. Personally, we didn't use one. We didn't need one because we both have absolutely nothing. But I'm curious to hear people's thoughts. It doesn't matter. Personally, I think everyone needs to get a prenup. At least you're walking away with your nothing with you, no matter how small it may be. Whatever you came in that relationship with, take it with you. When, when we got married, I was the girl that was like, I'm not signing a prenup. Mm -hmm. Because I'm marrying you till death do us part. I come from a legacy of women who stand by their men no matter what. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about me. And I'm not signing a prenup. Because to me, contracts are real. So if you're writing a, if this happens, you're basically saying Speaking that's going to happen. Yeah. And so I see how now in hindsight, I am such an advocate of prenups. Because marriage at the end of the day is a business. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, we are all individual souls. Let's stop with the like the literalness that something is going to last forever. Nothing lasts forever. So even I heard this once that even marriages where the two people are married forever, that marriage is going to look three to five different ways over time. Every married couple has a prenup. You either take the standard one your state has made law or create one yourself that fits your specific situation. If it's till death do you part, you should want to sign the prenup even more. If there's no prenup, one side has a little bit more of an incentive to go if things are bad. She's right. Nothing lasts forever, so when you leave, you're not leaving with half of my money. I didn't date you for your money. I fell in love with your heart. Well then just sign the prenup and let this love story begin. Love stories don't begin with prenups. This one does. Women don't need men for money. Oh. Statistics show single women own more houses than single men. 
Yeah, from divorce. <laughs> These guys are pointing the fingers at each other, and I'm trying to resolve that problem and get to the merits of this thing. My understanding is this, this wife has been pressured to sign a decree Ask her. that has no spousal support and no piece of a business where this, this husband, after 14 plus years, is currently earning an annual net between 163,489 and 172,595. And she gets no piece of the business and no spousal support, correct? That's what my understanding is. Is that the decree you had her sign? Your if that's not an ethical not problem, I don't know what is. That is a very emotional judge. But this is what happens when you sign a prenup, fellas. This is what happens when you protect what belongs to you. She signed the paper knowing fully what was on it. So I'm not sure how it was forced. It used to be called equality and get a job. Now it's called spousal support. You're really not gonna sign a prenup? No, I'm not signing no prenup. What you got is what I got. Okay, but I, I don't understand why would you not want to sign? Basically, our it's love is Your real. money is my money. Simple as that. Okay, why are we going straight to the money? It don't have any, all I'm doing is my lawyers are telling me that I have to protect myself. And it's not from you, but it's just, it's just gonna. I don't gonna, wanna it's, hear that. I don't wanna hear that. Everything that you bring in in the house, I, is mine too. Nah, cause I mean, what what did you come with? What did you come with that you deserve? The thing you just don't like, like this is for our own protection. You know what I'm saying? From no. I don't care what you say. It's my money too. Simple as that. But see, the lawyer said that's what you was gonna do though. They were saying you was not. No, he didn't. So what's the point of you he not signing the prenup? The money that you bring home is mine too. Simple as that. End the conversation. <laughs> that's crazy. So I guess there ain't gonna be no wedding. Then. Well, it's gonna be a wedding. If she won't sign the prenup, then there should not be a marriage or wedding. Nope, she planning on using him. Always get prenuptial agreement. Had a woman say to me that I will sign everything over to her before we get married. I broke it off right there. He shouldn't be having no conversations with her. No prenuptial, no marriage. Simple. To confidently say, your money is my money is just a crazy sentence in itself, especially if you didn't contribute anything in that relationship. The signs were all there. Her adamantly refusing to sign the prenup was all he needed to see. It really makes you wonder, what if mandatory prenups were a thing, just like DNA testing? Would more women be eager to get married or would it make them think twice? I really hope he made the best decision. My last relationship, we broke up because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement. And I said, absolutely not. I think that's bogus. I'm not going to sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, no, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. Again, with the entitlement. If that's the case, she will remain single for a long time. If the prenup was all it took for the relationship to end, then it was not about love. That man did not lose anything serious. He's got nothing to worry about. Should a man take you for a first date? He can take me anywhere. I'm not straight. We can go to McDonald's. Damn, for real? Yeah, I just need time and penis. Oh, say less. You want to go to McDonald's? I do. <laughs> really? You can got I get penis? your number? Yeah. You got penis? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, the first date is to get to know someone, not to take you on a shopping spree. Billionaire, and then I marry a 22-year-old girl, and then five years later she leaves me. I have to give her half of my money? Are you freaking insane? Here's what caused me to have a prenup. She called me about a couple things that she wanted us to spend money on her family, and it pissed me off because they're taking advantage of you. If I don't have a prenup, I actually don't know if I have the drive to give my best. Because you might lose it. Because I might making. lose it. But if I have a prenup, I'm giving my best. But some people would say, well, you shouldn't be marrying someone that you're not 1000% sure that it's going to work out with. It, it happens though, don't you? You know what it is for a man to believe that the marriage, both sides are going to be great? Do you know that's a form of thinking you're God? I don't know what's going to happen with her later on. So why don't we not play God and let's play human beings and let's write an optional agreement together. I am all about marriage. I'm all about having kids, having a family. But I also understand people change.
Nothing is 1000% certain when it comes to marrying someone. People change over the years. The feelings might not be the same when you guys first got married. And women operate on feelings. That's honestly something to not trust. Whenever she feels like leaving you, she can just initiate the divorce. So to avoid all of that headache, get a prenup. And don't make her sign it under duress. So how you feel about prenuptial agreements in marriage? Do we really got to go there? Yes, that's part of marriage. The part of kids, like, that's everything. That's everything in one. Because you think marriage no, is I don't a contract. Th no, that's what you think. Yes, it is. We haven't been together all my life, correct? Mm -hmm. Like, to me, I feel like it'll be different if me and you started when I was 18, going through college, my college sweetheart. I agree. Oh, it wouldn't be no question. Like, nothing. So what you're saying is I won't with you shooting in the gym. I was going to be a little more easier. <laughs> I was. But yes, technically, yes. I personally don't think right. that marriages should have one. So if something was to happen, would you, like, just take the house from me? Would you take the house? Would you take the kids? Would you take the cars? No, you know I'm not even that type of person. Right. So I feel like since you know that I'm not that type of person, what is it going to hurt? We spoke about prenups. Eric thought we should have one. I didn't think we should have one. I'm not against it. It's just wanting Eric to trust me more. What do you fear of? I think it, for me, it's from being hurt in the past. Correct, you know, but that's your past. People crossing me, telling me they ain't going to do this, they'll never do that. I get it. But when it comes to the financial side of me and you, like I've never fed you the energy of using you or with you because you got this and you Correct. got that. Like, I've never given you that vibe our whole four years. Like, I showed you that I really don't need you money-wise. Right. So Jess and I aren't on the same page with prenuptial agreements. If we can't see eye to eye, I don't know what we're going to do in order for things to move forward. But I know one thing for sure. I'm not going in this marriage without no prenup. We'll continue that conversation another day. Finish the mission. A prenup is a must if assets are on the table. If you come into a relationship and your partner was established before you came in there, you need to sign a prenup. You contributed nothing to that person's success. And again, if you're not after the money, then what is stopping you from simply signing the paper? He said he will only marry me if we get a prenup. Then you know what to do, girl. Go visit your doctor. Get you some prescriptions. Get you some mind-altering prescriptions and take them on that day. And have your receipts from the pharmacy. Have your visit to the doctor. And film yourself on Instagram taking your meds. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Make sure the date is seen as well. That it is posted. Then the contract will be null and void. There you go. <laughs> okay, how can you convince your husband to let you stay home? Quit your job. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That sounds like mine. I got fired and I'm getting sexually harassed at work. I ain't going back. I'm staying home. Take care of me. That's it. That's all you got to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm getting sexually harassed at work. I ain't going back. You got to take care of me. I'm going home. I'm traumatized. Can't do it no more. There you go. Just lie. <laughs> there is no discussion. If when you decide it for yourself, there is no discussion. You just going to do it. <laughs> you said, ladies, lie about your body count. Don't even answer the question about no body count. That's stupid. If a man is asking you that question, he's broke or stupid or low class. Men, real men don't ask that question. You know, no one has ever asked me that question. In my entire life, no man has ever asked me that question except the dusties in the comments. Okay? <laughs> so, if you answer that question, you are lowering yourself. This is actually something to watch out for. Some women actually use this tactic to delay the process of getting that prenup signed. But if she's filming herself live on Instagram, taking mind-altering prescriptions, that's already someone you don't want to marry. She's going to such length just to not sign a prenup. At that point, you should know she's only after your money. So I don't like men who like know that worth. Like, <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate men who know that worth. They be like, I don't got to deal with girl shit. I know my worth. I got my shit. Four men was just like, dinner and... But now y'all want to be like, having real deep conversations and shit. <laughs> Y'all want to be like, ask me what you, what you do. Oh, what I do. Trying to cut bitches off. Like, no, I don't got time for the drama or you toxic. I hate when they say to me, you toxic. So what's up? What you doing tomorrow?
Who yeah. teaching y'all that shit? The for real, who teaching y'all that shit? Who teaching us what? Y'all worth. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> if she's saying all this, fellas, she a liability, not an asset. Keep standing and know your worth, kings. She's basically looking for a sucker and knowing your worth. You will never be treated like a sucker. They don't like it when they can't run the game on you and manipulate you. Know your worth. They don't like it because they know majority of them have nothing to offer. A lot of women probably feel this way, but they just don't say it. The reason why they don't like it is because they know you can get rid of them quickly when they don't act right. Also because you won't tolerate just anything they do. Here's another one. What's your biggest red flag? Um, when they don't pay on the first day. Hey, what's your biggest red flags? Living off his partner, don't have a car, don't have a job, broke, can't dress, don't have a gun. Wait, don't have, wait, what do you mean I have a gun? <laughs> like Second Amendment, like who gonna protect me? <laughs> okay, and then I hate a man who know they work because that just is aggravating. <laughs> but I'm gonna stop there, so. You guys married? You guys aren't married? You're and you've got one foot in the grave. What are you doing? <laughs> you guys are married? You lost in a divorce? Oh, shit. This guy sounds like a bum. Or you have a fire ass lawyer, huh? But how much do you lose? You guys, make some noise for equality. Woo, 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 woo. Make some noise. That's karma. That's karma. Yeah, don't you love equality? You wanted it, you hoes wanted it. Yeah, hope you don't mind losing half, baby. Men have been taking too many losses for years now, but this is what they fought for. Welcome to the other side. Probably. I'm sorry, can you stop breathing so loud, honey? He's like, <gasps> breathe quietly. This really just pissed me off. Did you notice how nobody said anything to the woman for putting her hands on this man for no reason? But now if he had done the exact same thing, he would have went to jail. Not sure why he's not exercising his self-defense rights though. Roseanne Barr's husband walked away with how much after their divorce? She refused to have a prenup drawn up before her marriage to Tom Arnold. Y'all, she even fired an attorney because of him repeatedly suggesting that she get a prenup. And just four years of marriage later, she found herself in a very messy divorce due to Arnold's drug and alcohol abuse. And because she refused a prenup, Arnold walked away with a pocket full of $50 million. So moral of the story, navigating love without legal protections, specifically within a prenup, can be extremely costly. That's why it's important to get a prenup. Imagine having to give away $50 million out of everything you've worked for, but this happens to men all the time. She just got a taste of what men goes through when dealing with divorce. Also, she was operating on her feelings. She even fired an attorney for trying to help her get a prenup signed up. Don't let that be you. Why do bad things happen to girl bosses? Will we ever know? But we must continue to be a girl boss. Do it all. Every woman with a girl boss mentality is bound to be single in the coming years. Girl bosses are women that don't need men and can do everything on their own. Why would a man want to deal with that? Had him sign a. Yeah, we signed prenups. Prenup. That's not controversial. That's sign not. prenups. Yeah. Well, some people <laughs> it, like it, protect it's a your good assets. Thing. I am such a proponent. Yeah, protect your we assets. Owned, we owned multiple businesses when we got married. Yeah. And when I brought it up, he was like, yeah. Sure, I'll sign it. Well, I feel like if someone sign? is going to be very, like, pushed back against that, then it's the suspicious. purpose. suspicious. Yeah, why? like, that's yeah. suspicious. So. Why? That's my yeah. question. Like, well, why don't you want to yeah, sign Yeah, and also you can cater a prenup to be kind of whatever you want it to be. So a lot of people's prenups will, like, expire after 10 years. Yeah, ours has an expiration date. Oh, a certain does. amount of time, mm -hmm. then it will expire. And at that point, then, if anything happens, everything is together. So you can kind of cater it to whatever you want to say. You can put clauses in it, you know. So it's, it doesn't have to be. It, I think there's a limited knowledge 
knowledge in like the community about what like a prenup even is. And it's so, so yeah. it's it's a stigma. I think just like oh, you should trust your partner. Like getting oh, married, we're never gonna get divorced. Like I would never have my partner sign a yeah. you know. And I'm like, well, I came into the relationship with businesses I have to protect. Like, can you imagine if someone married you for the wrong reasons and they walked away with half of your business? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy yeah. for like, their life. Yeah, for the rest life. of their life. Like you never get that back. That's fully theirs. Most people are afraid of prenups because they don't actually know what it is. It is not preparing for divorce. It's a protection for both parties. The people who are usually against it are people who feel entitled, entitled to something that doesn't belong to them. That is, those are the ones you want to watch out for. You wanted a prenup. Yeah. And she says, nope, I'm not getting a prenup. And then you said, okay. Yeah, that's true. Why did you agree at that time? I'll find out whether this was the right thing to do or not. <laughs> but a lot of things in my life are still to be played out. And that could be one of the but, most expensive yeah. decisions I ever made in my life. What would you say to your daughter? Assuming she you're will getting definitely married. get a prenup. But uh, it's the yeah. love of her life. And he yeah. says, I don't want a prenup. I'm not getting married. She will absolutely get a prenup. How is your wife different in that scenario? We never dreamed we would be where we're at. Right now, there's four or five billion dollar real estate. There's 11 companies that are probably worth three or four billion. I never thought ever in my lifetime we would be where we're at, mm -hmm. but we are. And she has participated, and I hope this is never used in a court of law <laughs> <laughs> against me. But I mean, in a deposition, I would have to say, yeah, dude, she participated. She's been a phenomenal partner. Childbirth, these two guys without drugs at home, without us bringing them to yeah, the hospital. She's a fucking warrior, yeah. man. All that being said, it still ain't worth half. <laughs> this guy honestly has got a lot to lose if it comes to a divorce but honestly if your wife stayed home taking care of the kids you owe her some money simply because she sacrificed her career and dreams so if it did come to a divorce i think it's only fair she gets compensated for all the years she didn't work and supported you I make 75,000 a year and my wife makes 250 i shouldn't have to give her anything I went to school while he sat around. Why should I pay him anything? I'm the wife. He should be paying me. You have to pay him $3,000 a month in alimony. Just because you're a woman does not mean that you don't pay alimony. You make more money than him, so he gets the $3,000 to keep up with his lifestyle. That's not fair. Thanks, Judge. I never would have known without Attorney Jafari. It's crazy because of this is true. Some women actually believe just because they're females, they don't have to pay their husbands any type of money. And in this example, this woman makes more than the man, but she still feel entitled. When you are choosing your partner, make sure you are certain that is the one for you. Getting a prenup. If you are really, really rich, yes. If you're like the rest of us, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Owning over 10 credit cards. <laughs> That's a major red flag. What Trump. do you think that means about the person? Sometimes people have just never been properly educated, so they think that's what they do because they're spending way beyond their means. The person you marry wants to merge bank accounts. I'm good with that. Yeah, my wife and I have done that. We have her account, my account, and then we have an account that we both share. And that way I can buy her jewelry. Honey, did you hear that? Jewelry. And she doesn't know that I've got it for her for Christmas. But then we have the joint account to take care of our common bills. Using student loans to get a business degree. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. All right, so I'm going to go green, okay. but it could be red. It all depends on why you're going to college. I tell people all the time, don't go to college just because you think you have to go to college. The person you're dating has an expensive hobby. I'm going to say green if they can afford it. My wife has a very expensive hobby, me. The person you're dating follows me on social media. Oh, man, that's definitely a red flag. <laughs> I've cheated a lot of times, so, you know. I'm glad you admitted that. So you're a cheater. I am a cheater. Because people act like they fucking never did nothing in their life. Oh, no, I'm going to tell the truth. I cheat. You do cheat. Yeah, Why I, do you cheat? You better get married. Because to me, <laughs> somebody went, like, nigga, I love her. Ask me again. Why? What are the circumstances that make you feel like I'm about to cheat? When I feel like he gets bored. When I you feel like you're bored or you feel like he's bored? I'm bored. No, yeah. I'm human. Like, if I'm not happy, I know somebody's going to say, well, if you're not happy, why you, why you stay? Bitch. It's complicated. Sometimes yeah. it's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes I need that nigga to keep paying my bills. It's complicated. It's complicated. This is a proud cheater right here. I don't see the point in cheating when you can be single and sleep with whoever you want. 
This is a trait that broken people carries. They've never had a real relationship in their lives, so they call the person they're dating boring. In these people's minds, they are never the problem. Stay away from this type, only hell awaits. This right here is a perfect example of women don't know what men want. You think men prefer a natural body or a BBL? BBL. 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 Do you prefer natural bodies or BBL bodies? Natural. 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 Do you think men prefer a natural body or a BBL? BBL. 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 Do you prefer natural bodies or BBL bodies? Natural. 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 <laughs> I'm sure you know what this means. Basically, the person coughing is too old to be alive any longer. And because she didn't sign a prenup, once he passes away, she gets some money. Every joke got some truth to it. Subscribe. I love you. I used to be a dude. Ha 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 ha!